Hello there and welcome to another Miniguard 951 3D pixel art tutorial and today I'll be showing you a sort of manga character. It's a Chinese character. I find with most manga characters they have like the giant eyes so we're gonna build something like that. So I'll just quickly jump across so you can have a quick uh, look at what we're gonna be building and then we will jump in and get on with the tutorial. Right, and we're back. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with two here, two here, and then two at the back, and then you fill in all this. And that'll be the rough size of his foot. Then you want to count two across, and just continue the pattern. Mirror image of what you've done there. So two here, then bring out this bit two there. And it, as I say, it's quite simple legs. Obviously for this, we're going to need all three different types of blue. So I've got blue wool, light blue wool, and lacquers just to give it a bit of a different colour. So what we can do is we'll put a dark blue here. Um, what we do for now is we'll build it up with the dark blue and then we'll change it and, and add the colour in afterwards. So what we can do is like uh, our two by two squares, just like that. And then what we can do, start swapping these around, adding some blue to it just giving it a bit more sort of colouring to it, so that looks pretty good for that side. So it's totally up to you if you want to add these blues in or that, but I quite like it because as I say it just gives it a bit more definition. So that, that's one leg, I'm happy with that side. We'll do the exact same sort of thing here, something like that, and then come around to the side and I'm going to bring this one out to here and then up. As I say, it's slightly different on both sides, but it's, it's totally up to you how you do the trousers and how you want them to look. So then what you can do is come to this bit here, bring this out with a two of your dark blue. And that is the back of your model. So you should end up with something that looks just like that for now. Right, then what you want to do is get your white out, place a white on either side of these two blocks there and then you want to make like a giant H pattern so you want to bring it across up both sides you can see a, it looks like a massive H and then from here from the back you want to bring it back both sides one short so it sits roughly in fact we'll bring it out so it sits over the two blue that you've just done there then this bit here you can fill in with blue so from underneath you won't see it so you should see something like that as you can see the bottom of this model is starting to come along pretty nicely so then what we can do is from here light blue dark blue and that will be the start of his like chest on this model here then what we can do dark blue at the side here oh, back one here and if we go to the other side it should be a dark blue as well to here just like that it's coming along pretty nicely so now what we can do is we need a darker blue so I've got the lapis out for this one and what I'm going to do is do two on top of this one back here and one back here we could really do with a darker color but for now that's gonna have to do so then we want to go back to another blue and we want to do a zigzag pattern so out two down one like that to there roughly so that would just be the starter of his arm for this model so what you can then do come down to here place a black there and then the skin color at the bottom as you can see it looks like his actual arm hanging down and you want to do the same with the other side but we're, what we're going to do is we'll do it with the dark blue for now and then we're going to change it up a little bit and put a light blue here and here and then on the bottom of this one you want to do your black and your skin colour for the hand. As you can see it looks like he's got his hands at the side of his body there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So what we then can do is come around to the back for now. And we'll start building up the back a bit. 
So from here you want your dark blue here, come across then a light blue. I'm just alternating with the colours but it, for you it's totally up to you what sort of ideas, what colours you want to do. We'll get the lapis out again, bring it back here and here and then run it across so it meets up there. Just like that. Then what you can, um, in fact what we'll do is we'll take off the corners here and here. No, in fact, we'll do that and then bring this one out an extra row to there. Oh, oh I'm breaking everything. We'll get it right. Yeah, so roughly to about there. And then what you want to do from this one, that is roughly... Bring it out free for now. Come down to the bottom. Miss out a block here and then go one, two, three and four so it hangs over the edge there on this one you want your 2x2 two two square another 2x2 two two square on here and then bring this down one there so that's roughly almost like his scarf on this model here so then what we can do is go back to our lot sort of dark blue and then from here you can place one here here and here We'll quickly go to bed and we'll continue the rest of this build in the morning. Right, so where was we? Right, as we've placed the dark blue on top of the lapis here. So we've got two here and two at the sides. Then what we can do is come around to the front and this is going to be the start of his face. We're going to do two sort of sand blocks here and then from this we'll do a 2x2 two two square here. Like that. And on this I'm going to do the eyes. So we're going to do... We're going to do quite big eyes because most manga characters and that have got like mahusive eyes. So we do this, both sides, like something like that for now. And then in the middle here, we'll place our black blocks for the actual pupils. You can then fill in this to this bit in the middle here because we're going to make the eyes just all join up and look as if they're one sort of eye almost. So then two here, two here, so as you can see I'll just come back there, the eyes should look something like that for now. And then what we can do is add some skin colour here, just to give it a bit more, yeah that's looking better. Then you can also place one here, here, like so. So what you can then do, come around to the side run this down so it finishes roughly about the same as where the white does same with this side comes down to there also this one here would come back and this one here it's quite a simple face for this one I'm not going to go too much to detail we'll bring this back to here as well so it all lines up nice pattern like that should end up with something that looks very much like that for the start of his face He's looking good. I quite like this. I think this is going to be a good looking model. So then, for the hair, I'm going to use the lapis for these hair. You leave out these corner blocks and then from the front fill all this in, leaving out the, both corner blocks. Then from the side there you want to fill in here and here. And then diagonal across and fill it into across to about there. Roughly, and it's looking good, it's looking good. So what I'm going to do with this one, we're going to kind of make it find the middle two blocks here, do a 2x2 two two square like so, and then on this row you want to bring it out here and here. Bring it out one, and then bring it up like that. So it's almost looking like he's got sort of horns on his head at the minute there. So uh, as we're looking at the front here, do a 2x2 two two square on this side and the same with this side, 2x2 two two square. So it brings it forward. And on that you can then do this 2x2 two two square here and here. You see it's starting to take shape. Mm, not sure lapis is the best thing to use but that's the joys of this. I'll make it and you can change the colours that you use. You could even have green hair if you feel like it. So what I'm doing is just doing this all the way across here and then for this last one like that. And then from here I'm just going to fill this in and that looks 
the part. We're going to continue the same pattern as what we've done there on this side. So from here I'm just going to bring it down to here and then one, two, down, one, diagonal here, there like that. And then just another two blocks here. And that is pretty much the front of his hair done. He's, as I see, he's, he's starting to take shape. I, I really like the look of the hair on this. It's, it kind of reminds me of, um, is it Sideshow Bob? I think it is. Something like that. Alright, so what we can then do is come around. We want some light. No, we'll, we'll, we'll have some dark blue here. And we want to bring it up. One, two. So we're basically going to wrap it around the lapis. Diagonal here, diagonal here. And then do the exact same on the other side. So on, on these ones, you want to make sure they're diagonal to roughly about there so it sticks down onto the skin colour. So then what we can do is come find the middle here, roughly these two blocks. You want a row of four, one, two, three, four. And you will only see the two blocks on the edge because you'll have a white there. Just a starter of his actual, it's almost like some more sort of hair. So what we can do is get the lapis out again. And from here you want a So it looks something like that. And then two across here. As you can see it's starting to take shape. And then what you can do is come down. You want one diagonal here. Another one on this side. Hmm, I'm quite liking it. Then bring this out. You want a two by two square. And then on this side you want to bring it out one. Just to give it a bit more sort of definition so it looks slightly different. Then after you've done this one here, you want to then come back down diagonal and you want to bring this out so it lines up with this one. As you can see it sticks out one more. And then this one, you want to make sure it finishes one shorter. So there. And this is just going to give the hair some sort of uh, sort of definition so, so it looks like it's a bit more spiky. So what we could do down here, br bring this in to three and then one here and then this bit will come out here this bit will also be sticking out there so from the back you should end up with something that looks like that we'll quickly go around to the side and finish off the rest of this so you want to make this two so it's too long here like that and from here you can run that in so it's a two by two square with one sticking out this side here and one sticking out that side there then this one here would be another two by two square like that and that looks pretty much the part so we want to continue this on the other side may have one or two slight variances on this but it's going to be pretty much the same I would have thought so two by two square here then you want to to come down to here and then this bit here will be filled in like so as you can see it's looking pretty good right so now what we should really do is build the back of the head up a bit more so from this two block here you want another row and you want to bring it out to both sides for now probably going to be a little bit more but for now we're just going, in fact we'll do it free so it sticks out, yeah, one, one from the actual skin. So the same this side, stick it out to free here. And then what you can do is bring it up one, uh, change it to light, to free. So I'm going to bring it up to roughly about there. And you do the exact same with the other side, so, but I'm just going to as again alternate with the different colours just to give his uh, head a bit more of a definition there we go so we're going to do something like looks similar to that so right so what you want to do is come down to where this skin block is here you want to get your light wall bring it down to there and then you can fill this bit in with dark so that 
fills in that nicely yeah and then we want our light blue again and just run this up to there and that fills in nicely with that gap and it's coming along pretty sweet so from here and then you want to do two blocks here of your dark color and then one block there to complete that and then another row of two in here after you've done that two there then you want your light color directly underneath and you want to go one two three roughly down to here bring it out here miss one bring it out here and with the ones you've missed you want to go over your dark wall and then you can bring this one in so it joins up neatly there and then add two blue right there so that hides that in and tucks that in quite nicely then from here you want to do an L shape like so and that fits nicely around there as you can see it's coming together and it's looking pretty nice so from here what we can then do is maybe think about going to bed right and we were just finishing the side here so then what we can do is from this block here you want to bring it across roughly to so it finishes there that's nice and we'll bring that across roughly and do the L shape the same as what we did on that side so we get that sort of look we can fill in the bottom here and the bottom here as well all the way up to there as you can see it's taking its shape so what we can do from this block here just do a row so it finishes one shorter either side so it sticks out gives it the uh, the effect of uh, yeah I like it I like it. it looks good looks good so now we've done that what we can then do is come to this corner and uh, I'm just gonna put a couple of blues like that for now and then the rest is gonna be the dark blue just filling it all in up to the top here got to bring it one in here oh, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get in that way so yeah one there so as you're looking from the back, that hole is covered up nicely. So here we want a oh, row of two here and one there. And that ties that in nicely. Then what we can do, oh, we'll take that block out and that block, row of two there. And we're pretty much done. So like a couple of light blues here. And then a light blue here. And the rest will just be filled in with your dark blue and not forgetting this block here and that is pretty much your model complete I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like comment subscribe tell your friends help the channel grow take care goodbye